the greatest teachers of our time, King Gandhi and Living Room Sofas. Sofas taught me a great deal about living, maybe some of the most important things about living. You know what's great about a sofa is how comfortable they can be. But even more amazing than that, sofas have a way of seating themselves within my memory, forcing me to learn, forcing me to remember. Growing up in my grandma's house on the south side of Chicago, I learned to love sofas. We had an oversized beige colored flowered print sofa and that's where I would often meet up with my imaginary siblings. I wish I had had brothers and sisters. I wish I had had a chance to meet my parents. My mother passed away before I was one year old and my father, who knows what happened to him. It wouldn't be long before I would come to hate sofas though. I guess because they can leave you just as quickly as your loved ones can in life. When the fit of a sofa was bad or uncomfortable, it was like a sign to me, an unspoken truth. Maybe I didn't belong there. Maybe it was not home. Maybe I should be moving on. My grandma died when I was 13 and I had to leave our great old comforting sofa behind. I was quickly living in a new place with people I barely knew, sleeping on a sofa I had just met. I was not received well and it was the sofa that spoke that truth to me the most. A short time later, I took off on my own in search of a real home. The term homeless wasn't the household name it is now, but I was homeless sure enough right then and there. The first time I slept on the street, I didn't really sleep much at all. There were too many questions in my mind. When is it safe to close my eyes? Where do I use the bathroom during the night? Should I leave my shoes on so the rats don't get in them? How in the heck am I going to wash up when the morning comes? And really finally, who will be there to say good morning to? Yeah, you're homeless when you don't have housing, but it's also when you don't have a place in a circle of people, don't have a place in people's lives a place in the community, or a place in other people's hearts. That's the real loss, the real cost. That's real homelessness. For the past nine years, I've worked to eliminate homelessness in our city as an organizer for the Chicago Coalition for the Homeless. I get up every day working alongside those experiencing homelessness to help create the circle and the spaces that are so vital to people's lives. I believe as that happens, I have in some small way helped others along to find in their own sofas. That's how I came to love sofas again. It all had to do with people. While I was homeless, I once slept on an abandoned sofa in a vacant garage. It somehow seemed to want me, to fit me, it seemed so welcoming then, so comforting at that time. It reminded me of my time with my grandma. I still miss her so. Yeah, see the interesting thing about sofas is how they make you remember what is really important.